Heidi Montag, we call her the plastic surgery boob princess, Radar Online posted today a truly outrageous and really a mind-boggling interview with the 23-year-old remade reality show diva. After 10 procedures, nipping this and tucking that, Heidi now tells Radar, well, watch for yourself. I don't think anyone's ever done what I've done and talked about it. So I knew going into it that it would be um, quite the, uh, you know, havoc and everything. But, you know, all that matters is that I'm happy and I feel great. And, uh, you know, it's who you are on the inside that really matters. And this is just a shell at the end of the day. Huh? What? Did I hear that correctly? Can we play that back one more time, Charles? Is that possible? It's who you are on the inside that really matters. All right, hold on a second. It's who you are on the inside that really matters. Really? In the same interview, she talks about having more work done. Cooper, I am really having a hard time finding any logic in what Heidi is saying here. This is a woman who has said she is so unhappy with her appearance that she had all this work done. Yeah, AJ, you're going to love this. She and I have a mutual friend. Don't judge me. Um, and I asked, is she crazy? Has she lost her mind? The friend said, yeah, she's completely lost touch with reality. She doesn't realize what she's doing is bizarre. And making comments like that just show how out of touch with her own reality she's become. Well, Heidi didn't stop there. She dropped another whopper in the brand new Radar interview. And she announced she's decided to take that shell of hers and flaunt it on a couple of pages of Playboy magazine again. Watch this. I cannot wait to show up my new assets. I'm very excited, yes. So you seem pretty happy with it. Uh, this was the best decision of my life, and it really was amazing, and everything's come out so well. I feel very blessed. Yeah, see, this goes to that point. I don't get why she doesn't realize how ridiculous this makes her all look. I mean, Megan, is Playboy her only option at this point? Should she be very, very worried? I think you've absolutely got it right. Look, she said that she underwent this extreme surgery to expand her career options, to promote her new album, which only sold a few hundred copies. Yeah. I think instead, Playboy is the only venue that's come calling for her, and she's putting herself in a box. And let me tell you something. This girl's looking at short-term options instead of long-term. Those pictures are going to be around forever, AJ. Someday, she may not want her kids to see those. Yeah, no question about that. I, I just don't, I really don't understand what's going on here, and I've said all along, you know, if if she's not getting some counseling for all of this, perhaps she should be. Well, if, if all of that was not boobalicious enough for one day in terms of the bombshells, we have more. Heidi's not done with her plastic surgery. Take a look at this. I do want more. Eventually, I'd like to get my breasts redone because I didn't get them the size I wanted because they couldn't fit. So uh, that's it. All right, Cooper, she says she's not addicted to plastic surgery. Beauty is on the inside. But then again, Triple D, not big enough. She really does have a problem here, doesn't she? Yeah, it's the same thing if you talk to somebody who's a drug addict. I don't have a problem. I'm fine. I do drugs. I can handle it. I mean, plastic surgery is her drug. But remember, also, they took all of their money, she and Spencer, and spent it on her album. So she's going to take, as Megan was saying, every short-term opportunity possible because she ain't got no money left, and she's going to need money for all that plastic surgery. See, I want to believe for a second... Megan, that she really is just not thinking out what she means to say. You know, can, can she really be this far off base saying, you know, beauty is important inside and then go on to say, I need bigger breasts? I think somebody is telling her to say that because she doesn't understand uh, what she's doing. And I'm wondering what her circle of influence is. What's her husband doing to, to get her to do these options? Why isn't he speaking up? Her close friends, her advisors. I would be very uh, cautious of who I'm hanging out with. Yeah, her husband, well, he feels blessed to be with her. That's what he's saying.